Hey guys, Simon here from Sunshower Online. Today I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a look at solenoid valves. I'll dial down on the different ranges you can get and why you would choose any particular model. So first in line I've got the little MV75. Um, they're fantastic because there's lots of different configurations. This one's 24 volt AC, um, there's DC, there's AC, there's different configurations of threads, barbs. I ideal for those smaller areas that you want to irrigate like your courtyard, a small veggie patch, um, your small drip zone out front, your balcony garden, any of those smaller areas. And Telco's made really good use of them here with this Antelco Easy Box. So you can see it's a really snug little setup but again you know great for a small system keep in mind that they're made for those lower flow systems you know perhaps around 20 liters a minute now next in line we've got the the bolt top or the standard standard valves they're the um, professional's choice around the country in australia um, you can see that they've got screws so to access them you you um, unscrew them um, they're robust perfect for your residential installs next up here i've got another really popular valve it's called a jar top really make their mark in, in rural Victoria. People prefer this valve because they're easy to access. So you can see these have got a jar top. So they simply undo by undoing the jar top with hand, no screwdriver required. And you can easily access the inside of the valve to clean it out. So if you've got poor quality water, um, river water, bore water that's gonna block your valves up a lot, these are a great option. From there, we move into our, our larger valves, 40, 50, 80 mil valves. Um, still, still bolt top, still all the same stuff, rated to the same pressure, about a thousand kPa, most of these valves. Um, so the only reason you'd step up in valves is for flow rate. Once you hit that 100 litre a minute mark or so, you want to step up to a 40 mil valve. Rightio, so this one here's an ICV valve. So the valves we're looking at so far have been rated to that 1000 to 1200 kPa. The ICV valves and valves in its class, like the PEB, um, the P220, they're rated to that 14, 1500 kPa mark. So they're for those real commercial ap applications, high pressure applications. Um, and this particular model has actually got something called a scrubber on the bottom of the valve. So you've got this little stainless steel filter, but then you've also got this scraper on it. So every time your valve turns on, it scrapes a filter and every time it turns off, it scrapes the filter again. So rather than debris going up into the top chamber of your valve and blocking the valve or sticking it open, um, it gets flushed down line and goes through your sprinklers. So th these, these are pretty much top of the line. From there, you go to um, a recycled water valve. So valves specifically made to have highly chlorinated water that recycled water sees. Um, they've got different quality diaphragms and, and they're usually labelled that way too with, with lilac for recycled water. Um, and then of course brass valves um, for, for high pressure situations as well. Really uncommon to see brass valves in Australia. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you've got a project coming up that you need some help with, get in touch with us at Sunshower Online and we'll be more than happy to help. Thanks.